गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लीनियर मोमेंटम फॉर अ सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल्स डेयर स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कम अक्रॉस एन इक्वेशन फॉर आवर वेक्टर आर एंड वी डिफाइन आर एज समेशन ओवर आई एम आई आर आई वेक्टर अपॉन सिग्मा एम आई In the denom denominator, sigma m i was nothing but the mass of the system. It can also be written as sigma i m i r i vector by m. Now, dear student, take this m with this r. We'll get m r vector equals sigma. एम आई आर आई समीशन ओवर आई डे स्टूडेंट्स डिफरेंशिएटिंग बोथ साइड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम टी यूल गेट एम एच इट वॉज ऑलरेडी स्टेटेड इन न्यूटोनियन मैकेनिक्स एम इज अज्यूम टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट एम इज कॉन्स्टेंट हेयर मीन्स इट डजेंट मीन्स द मास कैनॉट चेंज ड्यूरिंग द मोशन mass can change for example in rocket mass can change here m is constant means our object is moving with normal speed not comparable comparable to the speed of light or i can cautiously say that i am not in the domain of theory of relativity that's why we can take m outside the differential with respect to time so d r by dt equals again dear student sigma i m i is considered to be constant m i d r i d t students this d r i by d t is the rate of change of position vector of the ith particle with time it is nothing but the velocity सिग्मा आई एम आई वी आई वैक्टर इट्स द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द आयथ पार्टिकल वेलोसिटी ऑफ द आयथ पार्टिकल मल्टीप्लाइड विद द मास ऑफ द आयथ पार्टिकल इज द मोमेंटम ऑफ द आयथ पार्टिकल एंड इफ द मोमेंटम ऑफ द आयथ पार्टिकल इज समड ओवर आई दिस क्वान्टिटी इज द वैक्टर सम ऑफ लीनियर मोमेंटा ऑफ ऑल द पार्टिकल्स Suppose my system has 10 to the power 6 particles, and they are moving. Then this term, this single, this uh, term which seems to be single, it is actually 10 to the power 6 terms, and these 10 to the power 6 terms are very very complicated. Complicated in the sense, dear student, this is actually m1. v1 plus m2 v2 plus m3 v3 up to 10 to the power 6 times why it's so complicated because student this is not the sum this is the vector sum of those quantities which may or may not change with time if we have to find out this sum what we have to do we first have to look at the first particle we have to measure its mass and velocity then we have to measure the mass and velocity of the second particle then for third then for fifth and so on up to 10 to the power 6 and then we have to add all these from vectorically which is also a very tedious task it's not easy to add six vectors it will take some time to add six vectors at a given time and these vectors may be the function of time because the internal forces can change the velocity of individual particle internal forces cannot change the velocity of the center of mass but they can change the velocity of the individual particle so these quantity may be function of time they may depend on time so it's 
require a superhuman ability to solve this term. But what is this term? This is actually the total linear momentum of the system. Because these are the linear momenta of individual particle and their vector sum is the total linear momentum of our system of of our system. So dear student, this term is total linear momentum of our system. Now student, let's look at at the left side. What is this? This is a single term m mass of the system dr by dt is the rate of change of position vector of a point which we defined yesterday and the name of that point was center of mass. So student let us give it a name in analogy with this expression we can call it as or we can define it as the velocity of center of mass. So student m is the mass of the system and v vector is the velocity of the center of mass and student m into v we can define it as linear momentum of the center of mass so student we can represent it with or denote with it with p vector and right hand side is your total linear momentum of our system so student it's very cumbersome task to calculate these individual quantity and then adding them vectorically but we escape from this cumbersome task by using just one relationship or one equation or one quantity we need not to go individually to every particle because their vector sum is comes out to be equal to this quantity and finding out this quantity is very easy because it's this equation is like a single particle so we need not to go uh, to consider the tangent for six particle we can easily find out the vector sum just by calculating the mass of the system and velocity of the center of mass and simply multiplying with each other so student we have defined a new quantity p which is the linear momentum of center of mass and which is equal to the vector sum of all the individual moment of the particles student we also come across yes in yesterday lecture we also come across another equation which was the newton's second law for our system of particle and that equation was m the second differential of our vector r with respect to time t equals the total external force on the system Dear student, we can write it as m d by dt into dr by dt equals the external force vector. And we define this quantity as velocity of center of mass. This can also be written as d by dt of m v vector equals our external force dear student here its m can be taken inside this differential and dr by dt we have already defined it as the velocity of center of mass and m into v is defined as the momentum of the center of mass and student you will get dp by dt the rate of change of linear momentum of our center of mass equals the vector sum of external forces acting on the system. Now student our topic is conservation of linear momentum for a system of particles. Student if there is no any external force is acting on the system or the vector sum of all the forces acting on the system is zero. There are two conditions. In first line, I am saying if there is no any force, the part, the system of particle is in outer space. There is no any kind of interaction, no any kind of fields is there, no any other object is there. 
and the second is if we have a system of particle which is being acted upon by three external forces but the vector sum of all these three forces is zero in both of these conditions i can say f e equals zero then this equation implies that p equals constant because the differentiation of p zero means it implies p is a constant vector means if there is no any external force the linear momentum of the center of mass please keep in mind the linear momentum of center of mass is constant it cannot change dear student let's come to our yesterday's example which was exploding cell student say it's a cell and it's going to explode and the role of the explosion is just the internal there is no any external role in this explosion in that case we can see it's after explosion it uh, turns into so many fragments and they move in different directions but the center of mass will remain at the same point they the fragments or the parts of this cell will move in such a way that if a particle moves in this direction with certain momentum then there must be a equal and opposite momentum in this direction so that their net momentum is zero because the center of mass is located before the explosion and after the explosion at the same point dear student it was our conservation of linear momentum of system of particle you may take it screenshot and thanks for watching the video